David, I told you, this is not a good time. You look like hell. I am asking you to leave. What's wrong with you? You are what's wrong with her. Jesse. What the hell are you doing here? I came here to see your wife. But clearly, I've caught her off guard. She won't even look at me. Are you going to explain yourself or not? This is not your hospital. This is my home. And you get the hell out of here before I throw you out. Since when does Jesse speak for you? You are way off base. There's nothing going on with me and Madison. We're just friends. Right, you kiss all your male friends like that? First off, that kiss, which was on the cheek, was a thank you for me putting a rush on Ryan's meds. Ryan's her boyfriend. I know Ryan's her boyfriend. I'm not saying What that... are you saying? I'm saying that you're a married man. And you got your own stuff to worry about, Frankie. We're just friends. I help her out, she helps me out. With what? Why can't Ryan help her out? Is Ryan the problem? That's none of your business. If she gets hurt, you better not be the one she comes running to. I think we're in business. You have something? Yeah, I do. Now we just gotta check the last number that was called. Well, that's gotta be the mechanic's number. That's it. What do we do? Now that we have it. Well, I'm just gonna give him a call and pretend that I'm David. Set up a meeting. Do you think you can sound like David enough to be convincing? Excuse me, I used to do this for a living. Imitations? Uh, <laughs> I know, but it's been a while since your con artist days. Okay. Fine, I, I will call from the terrace. Maybe the street noise will cover up the fact that I'm a little out of practice. Greenlee. Hey, Madison. Come to welcome Ryan home? Yeah. And he's helping me with something. Of course he is. Excuse me? What are you doing, Greenlee? He's been out of the hospital for a couple of hours. I know that. Look, I know that your life is a mess right now. I get that. And I do hope that you can get away from David. I know what it's like to be under the thumb of a man. I'm not under anyone's thumb. If you really cared about Ryan, you would back off and let him heal. Unless you want him to get worse, maybe you don't really care. Of course I do. You have no idea how much I care. 